What is the first thing that we want to do? Draw a triangle. What, what type of triangle should you not draw? Right triangle. Okay, so we're going to draw a triangle. And we don't want it to be a right triangle because these are not right triangles. And I'm going to label it D, E, F. So, now let's fill in the information we know. So, do we know angle D? Did they give us angle D? No. Did they give us angle E? What about angle F? Yeah. Angle F is 110 degrees. That does not look like 110 degrees, but we're going with it. Okay. <laughs> now, so did they give us, so remember this is little f, little d, little e. So did they give us little d? What is little d? Eight. So lowercase d is eight. Did they give us lowercase e? Did they give us lowercase f? So again, we just need to remember a capital letter symbolizes an angle. A lowercase letter symbolizes a side. Now, with that, we're going to use that information to find angles and missing sides. So, in order to find, um, we need to find angle D. Well, we don't know angle E, so we're going to have to use our law of signs. So I know I'm looking for angle D, and they gave me lowercase d, which is 8. The other information they gave me was F. So I'm going to use sine of F, which is sine 110, over 11. So you guys remember, you always want to use the fraction that they give you, the, inf the one that they give you information for. Then what you do is you're going to cross multiply. 11 times sine of D is 11 sine D. 8 times sine of um, 10, 110 is 8 sine 110. Just like yesterday, we're going to divide. But this time, instead of dividing by sine of the angle measure, we're going to divide by 11. Because we're actually looking for sine of the angle measure. Okay, so let's put this in our calculator and, and do all of this, okay? Okay, 8 times sine of 110 divided by 11. Did you get 0.6834? Okay, so we're going to write that 0.6834. But we're not done because we learned in, you, in section 12.1, that when you're looking for an angle measure and you have this as this is like a ratio or fraction, what we need to do is now we need to do second sign in this. Anytime you're looking for an angle measure, you're going to do second sign. So I'm going to I'm going to do second sign 0.6834. Close my parentheses. So I'm going to close my parentheses, and I get, and it's an angle measure, so we're going to round it to the nearest whole number. So angle D is 43 degrees. So again, how did I know that I had to do the second sign? Because if I'm looking for an angle measure, and I have a ratio, that's what this is kind of called, or a proportion, then what I need to do is do second sign. There are any questions over that so far? Okay. Now I know angle D, and I know side D. Now what's the last thing I need to find? Oh, I need to find two more things. I found angle D. Now I can find angle E. 
And how do I find angle E? Yep, 180 minus 110 minus 43 equals, what is it? So I use the law of signs to find my missing angle. And when you're finding a missing angle, the last thing that you have to do is the second sign, okay? Then when I had to go find angle E, you guys, I no longer have to use the law of signs because I know two angles and I know all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. But now I do have to find the last missing side. And the last missing side is, angle, is side E. I'm going to use the F because they gave me F. You guys, use the information they gave you. Not the information you found. I know you're like, well, we found 27, yes. But you want to use what they gave you. They want, you want to use the angle they gave you and the side they gave you. So we're going to use sine of 110 over 11. And then sine of 27 because that's angle E. And the reason we're using angle E is because we're looking for side E, the lowercase e. Now, we're going to cross multiply. I get E sine of 110 equals 11 sine 27. Again, you guys, see how it's sine and there's a number with it? It's not, an, it's not a letter. Since it's not a letter, then you don't have to do second sign. Again, because the sign has a number after it, there's not a letter, no second sign is necessary. We're just going to do 11 sine 27 divided by sine of 110. So 11 times sine of 110 divided by, nope, I lied to you. Let's try this again. 11 times sine of 27 divided by sine of 110. And did you get 5.3? So we round sides to the nearest tenth. We're going to round angles to the nearest degree. This is your answer. This is an answer. And then this is my answer. So when it says solve, law of signs. Sine of A over, sine, over A. Sine of B over lowercase b. Sine of C over little c. And it's just, you use the law of sines. Area, you use the sine. One half the two sides times the sine of the angle measure. What questions do you have?